Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I created this eye look using this adorable cute AF ColourPop palette. Um, I finally broke down and got the palette. I've been staring at this for quite some time now, but I haven't bought it. I don't know why. It's only $16 and it's so cute. So I really had fun playing with this palette today and um, I definitely recommend it to someone who's on a budget. Beautiful, beautiful shades. They blend it out beautiful and I created this fun sexy eye look and really happy with how it turned out um, before we get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and give it a huge thumbs up it would mean a lot to me and yeah if you want to know how I got this eye look then let's just go ahead and get started all right so I'm gonna start with the eyes today so I just picked up this palette it's the yes please color pop palette it's the cute AF and it really is so cute. Look at these shades. I'm super excited to play around with this. Also, I just picked up this Born This Way um, concealer. And oh, they ain't lying. This thing is huge. So I'm going to conceal my eyelids. Or prime my eyelids, I should say. With this concealer. I picked up the concealer in the shade Snow. So this sh should be whoa good for me I look crazy now <laughs> this shade right here is called bling it looks like it'll be a good shade to set the lid with I really want to start out with this yellow shade here this is called French Kiss it's literally just a matte yellow shade look at that pigment and let's just place this in the crease. It's got some nice pigment for yellow. I feel like yellows are hard. I don't know, I've never created an eyeshadow palette, but I could imagine a yellow being very hard too. They say reds are really hard and purples. I would love to create my own eyeshadow palette. That would be awesome if I could do that that's the goal in the future just have my own makeup line so I'm just building this up in the crease it's building up pretty nicely let me just zoom you guys in a little bit Woo, a little too much a little bit more so you can see what's happening all right so it's very nice so far um so let's move over to like this like orange shade it's like kind of like a peachy undertone orange and it's the shade champs okay i'm going to take the morphe m433 um the brush that i started out with um i just picked up this six piece eye brush set from morphe i got it at ulta and it has all these brushes in it and they're really beautiful it has like morphe engraved in the handle yeah i like that okay so like i said we're gonna use the shade here champ and I'm going to put that in the same area I put the yellow, but right underneath because I don't want to cover up the yellow. I'm going to go for like a halo eye look. So I'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eye as well. And I'm just going to go back in with that yellow shade because I feel like I lost some of that. All right, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of an even denser brush, a smaller brush, this one here. This is my Makasha E230. Looks like this, a little dome-shaped brush. And we're gonna go over to this shade here. This is Butter Cake. It's like red, whoa, it's like that pigment. And we're just going to kind of place that in this outer V area. I'm going to take an even, like, really tiny brush and just kind of dab it in the inner corner. Just blend out those edges. Just going back and forth between shades, taking some of the yellow, picking it up, taking some of the 
orange, the red, just making sure everything is blended together and there's no harsh lines anywhere. I want everything to be seamless. Okay, so then I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand and we're gonna cut out the middle part of our lids. And I'm just gonna spray my brush with some setting spray and I'm going to pick up this beautiful metallic shade here this gold shade and it's in the uh, shade name Spoiled. I'm just going to pick this up on my damn brush and I'm just going to place it right over that concealer. Wow, oh, that's beautiful. So we look crazy now. Now it's time to blend like our life depended on it. So just gonna go back into that orange shade we started out with. Gonna go back and forth between this and that yellow shade and just blend out all the edges. Okay, I'm gonna take my tattoo liner from Kat Von D and just make a wing. I'm gonna use the Becca backlight filter priming thing just to give myself a little bit of a glow. Okay, and then for foundation, I'm going to be using the Ulta Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Dewy Finish, and this is in Light Cool. This has been my go-to ever since I filmed my last video. I'm just obsessed with it. I literally have not worn pretty much anything else. And I'm just going to take this on my Morphe Y6, put it directly on the brush, and just go in. Okay, so my camera was dying, so I charged it for a little bit, did my brows, and popped on some lashes. Like I said, I'm um, trying this out for the first time today, so let's give it a go underneath our eyes. And let's just highlight our face a little bit. And I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. Being very careful around this wing liner. We are looking really highlighted, really nice, really happy right now. Um, I'm gonna set just like where I put that concealer because I want like that dewy glow still. Um, and I'm gonna be using the Cover FX Translucent Powder Light One. Gonna blend out my forehead lines. Just set that. My smile line. Okay. And for bronzer, I'm gonna take this Tarte Park Ave Princess bronzer and just bring some light back into the skin.
Okay, and then for blush, you're gonna take my Tarte Blush Bazaar palette, and I'm going to take the shade Exhilarating right here. And for the summer, I love to just put a little bit on my nose, because it makes me look like I'm sitting outside and just got a nice tan. For a highlight, I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star's Cosmetics Skin Frost in Princess Cut. This thing is huge. I feel like I will never not have this highlight. And then I'm just going to run some shades on the lower lash line. I'm going to take that yellow and I'm going to take this and just press that up against my lower lash line. Just throw on some mascara, whatever you like. Okay, and then for the lips, I'm going to take my Lawless Liquid Lip in Cameron. And then I'm just going to top it with my Dior um, Lip Maximizer in 001 Pink, I think it's called. Oh my god. It's just literally a clear gloss. Let's take some setting spray. Alright guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you enjoy it. I had so much fun creating this look and I'm really a fan of this concealer and this palette. I tried them out for the first time on camera with you guys. That's what I love to do. I love trying things out on camera for the first time, but I absolutely love the way it came out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit that post notification bell and give this video a huge thumbs up. It would mean the world to me, um, but thank you so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.